On this first episode of the North American Journeyman, I try to find a club to meet our objectives for the save. They start out straightforward. Win the Caribbean Cup, win the Central American Cup, then they get hard. Win the Champions Cup with a club outside of the US, Mexico, or Canada. Win the Gold Cup with a nation outside of the US, Mexico, or Canada. Then they get really hard. Make it to a World Cup semifinal with a CONCACAF nation. And finally, win the Club World Cup with a club from CONCACAF. Once I find a suitable club, I'll take you through the first season up until the business end of things. So let's see how things went, shall we? The save began just the way I like it. No coaching badges, Sunday League manager. Sorry, we're new here. Okay, so I have 40 nations loaded. And you know what? We're loading all of them. Still, this shouldn't prevent me from getting a job in the Caribbean to begin working towards the first goal of winning the Caribbean Cup. The Caribbean Cup is structured like this. Three births from the Dominican Republic, three births from Jamaica, two from Trinidad, and two more from the Caribbean Shield competition. The real-life champions of the Caribbean Cup made it to the competition by way of the Caribbean Shield. They're Robin Hood from Suriname. Still the advantage of starting out in Jamaica, Dominican, or Trinidad, due to their increased number of Caribbean Cup qualification spots, pushes me in that direction. But if we just kind of go down the list here, if we could get like a star and a half, two star kind of job, that'd be where I'm at. The attractive jobs available in order to reach our first goal are these. Plaza Amador in Panama, Santiago de Cuba in Cuba, Genesis in Honduras, Antigua in Guatemala, and Delphines del Este in Dominican Republic. One club in Trinidad was available, but they were by far the worst team in the league. So I didn't even apply. And then, oh, Eagles is 2,000 to 1 odds. They probably don't even have players. Yeah, it's all grayed out players. That's That would be a nightmare. I should probably check that with each job. I got the interview with Delphines del Este. Delphines? I like Delphines. Even though they're the bad facilities, terrible recruitment, really low reputation. I mean, they're picked fourth. In a league where I think you just have to get top three to go to the Caribbean Cup. I like Delphines. But they had a question for me that really made me scratch my head. What? How does a payroll budget around zero dollars sound to you? That sounds terrible. Delphines, Del Este. We've been offered the job at Delphines Del Este, the Dolphins of the East. Keep the general manager. Maybe they meant transfer. The payroll budget is 347k. And I'm eager to get to work. This is the perfect starting place, so I'm accepting right away and blowing off any other opportunities. Confirm the appointment of Captain Nellis. As the club's new head coach, eyebrows have been raised in the soccer world, have they? Nobody knows. Taking a look at the first squad, we have an absolute beast in Yessi Mina who could play either wing or up top. He is Colombian. He's pretty good. He's 33. We also have a pretty good center back in Cordoba. They're both Colombian and getting up there in age, but it's a good sign for building a team around. Speaking of building a team, we found that pretty much every player in the league is on offer to us on a free loan no salary contribution. This is gonna be cakewalk, dude. Squad player. He's got 47 caps. Outside of the top players in the best two teams, which are Cibao FC and Pantoja. Outside of them, we should be able to walk this league. The Dominican League is split into a regular season where six of the nine teams advance to the second phase, 
then the top four advance to the two-legged semi-final and league final. Making it to the final guarantees a Caribbean Cup spot. The third spot goes to the highest point finisher in the regular season. I was streaming the opening of this save live on Twitch, and it was a pretty chill stream. Then I got raided by Dill40k, another American. Raid! Yo, what's up? Welcome. Get in here, South America. Welcome to the CONCACAF save. Dill40k, coming in hot. Streaming is always more fun once I hang out. So thanks, Dill. After improving our team as much as possible by way of our little loan trick, we stepped up for our first match against Universidad. Flores. Gomez. Takes a shot low down. The first ever Dolphins of the East goal has been disallowed for what? Gomez was offside? Yo. He was when he came back to the ball? Maybe. Dude, I'm celebrating over here like we won the CONCACAF Champions Cup. And it was a bit of a false start. I'm looking at who I should pass you guys on to potentially after this game. Hey, we got a penalty. I don't know what happened, but I'm calm. And that's a well-taken penalty from the goal scorer, Haler. That's Haler Gomez. Still, it was a good performance in the end. One game down, one victory. In our first go against the top Dominican club, Cibao FC, things didn't go so well. Three first half goals from Cibao put us in our place. We made our intentions clear and proved our mettle by pulling back to draw the game 3-3 in the second half. Our next game was against Pantoja, the other top club in the league. Despite having a good start with the Mina to Cordoba connection, they got the better of us 2-1. We're proving our worth in the league and are ready to take on Sebao for the second time this season. Sebao starts confidently but Mina's creativity and superior finishing give us the lead. Which we extend and end up taking the contest 4-1. to one. The Dolphins of the East have officially announced themselves as a contender. The next game against Pantoja is the Mina show for the first 60 minutes as he grabs a hat trick. But then complacency undoes all his hard work as we draw the match 3-3. Three to three. Our performance in the regular season has put us at the top of the table on goal difference over Cibao, and we're certainly a contender, but all teams start the second phase on zero points. Mina is bossing the league but we may have found his replacement since he's 33. An agent offer came in for a 21-year-old Colombian right winger who I started calling Mina Jr. And apparently, because of what I said in a press conference, we're very close friends. We also had youth intake near the beginning of the second phase, and they were garbage. The second phase gets off to a great start. Getting our first ever win against Pantoja we drew Cibao twice and beat Pantoja again 1-0. We finish on first in the second phase, which means we will avoid Cibao and Pantoja in the semifinal. On the next episode, we'll play against Atlantico in the playoffs. They were the only other team to take points off of us. We drew them once and beat them three times. In fact, we only lost one game all season. If we win this two-legged draw, we will qualify for the Caribbean Cup.
Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you again next time. Rock on Delphines. Mm -hmm.